Hi everybody, it's Julia here and today I thought I was going to share a process video uh, on the 12 by 12 page. I know! <laughs> um, so this time, usually uh, I have found that when I actually do full 12 by 12 pages, uh, you work with a collection and I have a like a story I want to tell, but this time I just really wanted to have fun and play and I mean, 12 by 12 is what I started with, and it sort of feel a bit indulgent just to make them for fun. Um, so I thought I was going to do that. I have two photos, black and white, that are 3 by 4, and they are of me. So on one page, or one photo, <laughs> uh, was before I cut my hair, and on the other one, I have short hair. Well, short for me, I think it was like 6 or 7 inches I chopped off, so it feels really nice now. So I have matted them on some uh, silver metallic paper, um, or shimmery paper I should say, and the rest of it is just really fun things that I, I just want to play with. So here's that holographic uh, specialty paper from uh, Chamel, the box of crayon. The pattern paper I have underneath is from uh, Studio Calico, it's one of those old kits where you get like you can buy them for like five bucks or something. Um, the background paper is just something I have painted. Uh, sometimes I do that, like I paint a lot of backgrounds and then I hardly ever use them, but this time I was like, yeah, I'm going to use it. The camera is also something I have painted and it's on a sticker paper, so I just put that on like some really or like heavy chipboard and then cut it out. So now I have like a chipboard embellishment. It's really cool. Uh, I also have some paper by Maggie Holmes, that floral paper underneath, and um, yeah, I just, I mean, I have some new stuff on my desk, and um, I hardly, haven't really used it, and I thought it was going to be fun just to like pull from different collections and not really think about it in that way, so it was, I had a really great time. Uh, so I wanted the photo of me with a short hair to be on the right. Um, but it didn't really work out. So what I did instead was making sure that, that was like in front of it and then emphasize it with that with some white photo corners and everything. So make sure like that is the new. <laughs> I think you can tell. Um, but yeah. So I really wanted quite a lot of layers here. So I'm going to do that. So I have uh, some of that directly behind my photo but also that vellum and then this paper. And I just wanted to get a little bit of different colours in here. Everything is pretty much white or we have like blue and minty colour. So I wanted to have a little bit of a different colour to sort of um, to break it off a bit. So I'm going to have that and I know I want to have it there and I know I want to use the figures from the collection, uh, from the Box of Crayon collection because they're navy blue. I love navy blue. Um, so I'm thinking like where I'm going to add my journaling and I f feel like I want to extend the block I have my foot on to the right and have my, my title there. But I can't really decide on what to do so um, I have gone through a few of the project uh, life cards and then I'm thinking maybe a tag but I don't really have that many tags <laughs> so I said I'm like okay what can I do now so I decide to add my photo on that paper and I'm I'm thinking away and then I realize I do have some tags in the um, the, in the flourish collection so I'm going to bring out the ephemera uh, pack and I think is this, this one is exclusive to scrapbook.com maybe so I pull out a few of those um, uh, things that I'm going to use and I'm going to make one cluster above my photos, one to the right and one below. I'm going to add that swatchy, peep, uh, swatchy card <laughs> tag uh, for my title and journaling. And I think it works really well. The colours are uh, very similar to ones I have and it has that sort of painterly look which works really well because I painted the background. Um, so yeah. So I decided to do that and my title is going to be Yes. Um, so my journaling is talking about how I, hardly, I don't really like getting my hair cut. I don't like it. I don't like people fussing with my hair. But it's necessary because I have both quite long hair and quite, well actually, really thick hair and curly hair. <laughs> um, which makes it really tangled after a while so you really need to keep it in check. Um, 
so I just uh, wrote down where I got my haircut because I don't really have one place where I go to. I I tell my mom I need to get my hair. Can you make an appointment? <laughs> so usually it's wherever she goes I go to. So this one time it was a new one, um, and she asked me what I wanted, and I said. I want it short and she was like this much and I was like no more she was like do you really want to cut that much off and I was like yes cut it off so that's where it comes from and then it was a pair of scissors on that um, thicker sheet I was like that's perfect so I'm going to use it here I'm going to use some of that vellum too I thought I was going to rip it but then it changed my mind so I'm going to attach it with some staples here and I'm going to add that so it becomes like my third place right there. So I'm going to add some twine to that too. Um, so yeah, I really like how this page is coming together. I have some navy and um, I have some black and white, but I don't really feel like it's heavy. Now, these furs are printed at home on my Canon Pixma, no, yeah, Canon Pixma printer. Um, and it's a good printer, but the photos are never like true black and white. They are a bit warmer in tone um, so that's also why I don't really want to go uh, have a lot of harsh black because it's really going to tell that the photos are not <laughs> um, and just checking where when I got my haircut um, so I really like the navy blue with there yeah, with this so uh, in the top um, in the top cluster what are you going to call it with a camera there's a black and white label with some purple and it's the same purple I have on this label here so I'm going to bring that to the other spaces so with the scissors and then up here with a tag just to bring that in and I really like having that purple uh, it I, I just really like it <laughs> I'm really eloquent today aren't I okay so right now I'm finishing off and thinking about what I want to do and I decide to add in some of these flowers from a pebbles um, puffy stickers they are from the tea tea collection like where everything goes in teacups so I'm going to add those and really like having those there and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some splatter with the navy um, Heidi shine so that is my page. It was so much fun making it and I had so much fun using stuff that I've painted myself. I'm really happy with that. Um, there's some glitter here. It is sprayed with like a shimmer mist, but you can't tell. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope I gave you some ideas and uh, yeah, thank you so much and I hope you have a great day. Bye!